Today I'm going to show you a way to use a simple kitchen appliance to turn your big game head into a cleaned up uh, European mount that can be displayed in your home. Some advantages to this technique are that it's uh, obviously it's inexpensive, it's something anybody can do in their home or their garage. Uh, also it has substantially less smell than a lot of other techniques in general. A really simple and convenient way to do this uh, even if you don't have a lot of space to um, do some of the other methods that don't smell as good. So. Um, this is a sous vide machine um, that's a really common kitchen appliance that you can find at pretty much any store where kitchen supplies are sold. It'll do lots and lots of skull cleanings for you. In addition to the sous vide machine, you're going to need some powdered laundry detergent and also some Bondo for reattaching the horns. You probably already know that antelope horns are actually an outer sheath with an inner core. and What's worth knowing is there's actually a lot of tissue on the inside of this horn that we're going to have to clean out as part of this skull cleaning process. So the first step is going to be to get our skull into the sous vide bath and uh, heat up the horns so that we can remove them and clean out that tissue. Okay, so I've filled the pot with enough hot water to cover at least half of the horns and I've turned the sous vide machine on to 155 degrees. Now I will put the head in and it'll cook for three to four hours before the horns will pop off. Okay, so at this point the head has been cooking in the sous vide pot for four hours. We're gonna remove it from the water, drain out as much water as we can, and then uh, we're gonna remove the two horns. So the secret for removing these horns, you don't actually want to pull straight up. The secret is to grab each one and twist either direction, and uh, they should loosen up and pop off. So these, these horns will be washed up uh, with a garden hose and they're basically just going to dry out and wait for the rest of the head to be cleaned before we reattach them. Okay, the next step, we've replaced the water in this container and now we're going to um, stir in two to three scoops of powdered detergent and try to dissolve it as much as we can. This is going to help break down the flesh on the skull and also help pull grease um, out of the bone to make it a little bit more white. Now we're going to put the skull back into the pot and restart the sous vide machine. This time the machine will be set for 145 degrees. Cook it for approximately the next 36 hours and you can clean the skull with a garden hose every 12 or so hours and change the water and um, powder detergent mixture and as you continue to clean it and, and replace the water, you'll continuously get more and more flesh off of it. So at this point, the skull has been in the sous vide for a total of 24 hours, and over the course of that time, I took it out twice and sprayed it with a garden hose, and one time, halfway through, I changed the water and detergent mixture, and you can see that uh, that in this case 24 hours was enough. We've knocked out all the, the flesh and tissue and even including inside the skull where the brain was is, is now all clean and um, the tissue is gone. So uh, we're ready to let this dry and then move on to reattaching the horns. And also um, we've lost a tooth here in the front and I'll show you how to um, put that back in as well. Okay, so we're ready to mix up our two-part epoxy for reattaching the horns. I'm gonna take about. Uh, I'm gonna take some bondo out of this can that's about the size of a shooter marble or so for each horn individually, and mix it up individually. Um, just like this. And 
And then I'm going to scrape this and try to put it as far up into the top of the horn as I can as I can reach. Um, that's just going to make try to keep it as uh, hidden as possible um, when it's attached to the skull. It'll keep it from from oozing out to the bottom of the horn. Once in a while, a couple teeth will fall out, and that's just a simple um, reattachment. You can put some more of your adhesive on the tooth and uh, reinsert it back where it belongs. So this technique, as you can see, is uh, really efficient for cleaning antelope skulls. It'll obviously also work for um, elk and deer skulls. Um, the thing to, to note and to be mindful of is there are uh, regulations regarding how to dispose of tissue for animals that can carry chronic wasting disease. So please just be familiar with those regulations and um, dispose of that tissue appropriately.